So recently I've been updating the new gen faces in my FM saves to go from looking like this to looking like this and it's a pretty big improvement isn't it and it's really not that difficult to do. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you go about doing that so that hopefully you can go and do it in your own saves too. It's not that difficult. I'll talk you through the process. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your new gen faces look like this in Football Manager. This is my Almeria save, which is the current series that we're doing. And it's a lot of fun. We're being the DOF. And I've decided to try and sort of upgrade my experience by changing my new gen faces and generating my very own versions of them that look a little bit more lifelike. And I feel like you can you can get that's Jose Gaia. That's just an actual real life person. But this guy isn't actually I've generated him using mid journey. I'm going to show you how you do the entire process today so that if you want to go and do this, you can. All I ask in return is if you find this useful and in enjoyable video, then leave a like on it and also maybe subscribe to the channel because we are pushing towards 50,000 subscribers ish. That is the target anyway. So that would help me out very much. And I guess we'll start how we go about doing this in game. One thing that you are going to need to know is the unique ID number of the player that you're trying to upgrade. What I'm going to do is choose a player that doesn't currently have a face and we can actually generate one together during this video. What I might need to do is go to my under 19s because I've pretty much done it for every single player in this save so far. Let's go to this player here, Daniel Sanchez, who is a 23 year old player in my team. He doesn't really need a face, but we're going to go with him to show you the process. The first thing that I need to make sure I have made a note of or I can access quite quickly is the unique ID of my player. That's going to be important for actually putting the face in. And the way that you can make sure that you can see that is go to preferences here and make sure that you've got the box ticked that is unique IDs. If I just search for ID up here, it probably comes up here somewhere. It is show screen IDs in the title bar to assist with skinning. Make sure this box is ticked and then if you reload the skin on there, it will come up with this number here, which is his unique ID, which you're going to link in the config files to make sure that his face is, is linked with that number and his code in the game. What we're going to do next is we're going to jump into Mid Journey. I don't know if you're familiar with Mid Journey. It is this AI gen this AI bot that generates images. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you don't know what Mid Journey is, give that a Google and I'm sure you'll find out. I pay for the subscription to Mid Journey, a monthly plan so that I can access this and use this as much as I possibly want to. It also makes the process a little bit quicker for me, but I think there is a free version. You can do this for free if you were if you were to want to. And if you do pay for the subscription, you get an an AI bot. The Mid Journey bot is a direct message with you and it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to show you how I use this and I guess you might need to navigate around that if you don't want to pay for the subscription, but I'm going to show you what you can do if you do want to do this. And if I scroll up on here, you can see some of the things that I've been generating recently with uh, Mid Journey. I'll have a lot of fun with it. There's our new manager, Johan Dumont, who was generated using this. And here's the actual process that I've used to, to create or generate a player face here. And I'm going to show you the prompts that I give to create a player because this is going to be important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this one. What we're going to do is see if we can create the face for Daniel Sanchez. I'm going to think about what he looks like and I'm going to now get our AI to create a version of this face that looks a little bit better by putting in this prompt here. What you do is you do forward slash imagine prompt there and I use this prompt here. It is an 85 millimeter DSLR color photography of a very detailed headshot fitting all of head and hair in frame. This just produces that nice nice face that has everything in there and they look like they've taken a photo which is a bit like the new gen faces which is why it works of I hope this was an 18 year old brazilian soccer player soccer seems to work better we've actually got a 23 year old spanish player so i'm going to put in 23 year old spanish soccer player with long light blonde hair was our player before he's got long black hair which is what i'm going to change this to long black hair. I'm just going to get rid of blonde in there. Long black hair parted in the center and a dark beard. Now he doesn't have a dark beard, but it is parted in the center. So I think I'm going to go with that one. If you want to add more details here about what he's wearing or specific facial features, you can add it and hopefully the AI will come up with a really good version of that. I'm just going to get rid of the dark beard and just leave it with, with a small smile and a gray background. And now this should quite quickly, I'm going to send that command. And of course, be creative with this, use different prompts and you should get some different results. As you can see, if I scroll up through this, you can see all of the faces that I've been generating. 
all of the different players that I've been creating with the different prompts in here. And uh, it creates really great results. You might even be able to recognize some of these faces of the players that we've got in our save now. There's Chevalier. We looked at him before, didn't we? If I scroll down, this should be doing this quite quickly. We're 15% of the way through. This is fast because I pay for that subscription, I believe. Here are some of the faces that are being generated. They become more and more lifelike as this loads. 46%. I'll come back when this is at 100 and we can have a look at him. 93%. Here we go. He's just about to be finished. You can see he has been formed. It will produce four different versions of your player face, giving you a little bit of choice, which is useful. We've got these four guys here. Now, if you weren't happy with these, you can do these are variations if you click on these ones or these ones upscale them. I'm going to go. I quite like if you click on it, you can look at it a bit bigger. If we compare those with the player here. I think I quite like very Danny Rojas, which is the, the vibe I'm getting here. I quite like the top right version here. And I think I'm going to go for that one. So I'm going to upscale version two, which is this one here, which just gives me now a bigger version of that. I want it to be quite high quality. I think it looks nicer in the game when they are high quality. And this is my player now that I've got. And what you're probably wondering, how do I get this now to look like to have no background in the game and to make this look exactly how I want it to. What I usually do from here is I will open the link here just so I can get this picture. And if I pull across my tab here, this is now my full HD version of this. I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites here. It is so useful. And again, I pay for the, uh, the privilege to get the most HD versions of this. If I just log in here, this website is outrageously good. It's called remove.bg and it will take all of your images and remove the backgrounds from them for you automatically. It is completely free. You can pay for a subscription, which is a few quid a month, and which is what I do because I use this so often. And if you just copy and paste your image into here, it will remove that background for you so quickly, so easily, and you can download the HD version or the normal version. If you don't pay for the subscription, you can just get this 500 by 500 version. I'm going to get the HD one just because I've got these credits in here because I subscribe. And now you've got this downloaded, which you're probably thinking, now where do I save it? This is the next part of this. I'm just going to open up some free some free software for video ed uh, for photo editing, I should say. Paint.net, another free one, by the way. I'm trying to do this to show you all the different options. You could put this into Photoshop. You could put this into the different things. I quite like using this, Paint.net, just for the easy, simple things, because it's quite limited in what you can do in terms of photo editing. But for quick things like this, it's really, really useful. I am going to open up, actually, at this point here, there's some, some nice editing things. Look, I've been looking through all of these different faces in here. I'm going to open up some of my other faces here just so that I can get the correct size and just show you that one. But if I go to faces, this is where you're going to need to save it afterwards. These are all my custom faces. Look, I'm going to open up a recent one just so I can see the exact size, which is 200 by 200 pixels is the size of your canvas here, which it does. It's really quite small in the game. If I paste this in now or drag this in by going across to here, if I drag this into my my uh, photo editing software here. I've got it too big there. So actually, I'm going to paste it in a little bit smaller. I can now make this the right size so that Danny Rojas, I mean, Daniel Sanchez is going to be nice and looking good in this. Just make sure it's the, the right version of this. And if I remove the one behind, I've now got this guy player face ready to be saved in the correct folder. If you save this now in your cust in your faces folder, in your graphics folder of Football Manager, you'll start to be doing the next step. This is the folder you need to save it in. You need to find your sports interactive Football Manager 2023 graphics faces. I think you might need to make a faces folder if you don't have one, but you can just make it. I've got a custom folder. If I go to faces here, I've got all of the faces that I've got in the game, which is all of the, this is my face pack that you would, lots of you will already have. I've made my own custom face pack. You can use both because they own, they both have their own config files that it works. You've got some quite silly ones in here, like Leon Judge, and uh, he's got a, a judge's hat, hair, wig. I don't know what it's called. He's got a proper name. Not sure what it is. Here are all of my faces. I now need to save though. Daniel Sanchez as the correct number. You'll notice that these numbers are very similar to the ones you see here. 2002, 162, 722 is the number. 1, 2002, 162, 722. Let me check it again. 162, 722. Right, that should now save as the correct number that will correspond with the number that is in game. That's not it though. There is another step that you're going to need to do here. If I go to that folder for you, and show you. Here's my Football Manager folder. If I show you that folder, which is in Graphics, Faces, and then Custom, you'll notice you've got this file here. Now, there is a simple way that you can do this. 
or there is a slightly more complicated way. What you could just do is you could edit this folder and you could change your config folder using the notes app and you go down here. These are all the faces look and uh, all of the things. It looks a bit complicated. What I prefer to do is not to edit it this way. I use a piece of software called FM XML, which I think you can still download for free. There might be a slight fee attached I've seen from other people, but this makes things so useful. What it basically does, it's a tool that goes with Football Manager that creates the config files that you need. This config file here is created for you and it updates it and it makes it really, really simple. All you need to do is drag the folder into this, uh, this search bar here at the top, the browse bar, and then make sure that you are clicking the right thing. So we are making a config file. We are doing faces. I've already named all of my files as their ID, so you need to make sure you click this one here and click go. There you go. I'll put a link to FMXML into the, the description of today's video, by the way, so you can download it. And once you've done that, it will update that config file, and I've just loaded in 36 files, which is these 36 faces here. That's done for me. I can close this. Now, all that's left to be done is to go back into your game and make sure you reload this skin. Something you might want to do is go and clear your cache as well. If it's not working, make sure you clear the cache. Probably good to just clear the cache every now and then anyway. Clear the cache, reload the skin, and now, sh fingers crossed, if everything's gone correct, Daniel Sanchez should have that updated face, and that is the entire, the, the entire system. I'm happy, by the way, to answer some questions if you do have them. I know it's a bit tricky, tricky and a bit fiddly, and there might be things some things that I've breezed over. So please do just pause the video and have a look at different ways that I'm doing things. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to help. And I'm sure there are people in the comments down below that will be able to help you as well. But now I go to Daniel Sanchez and there he is. He's got a much more realistic face in there. And of course, if you're not happy with the face, go and generate another one using Mid Journey. This app is, or this, this chat bot is so, so useful. Update some of the, the, the prompts in here, change them, get some variations. If you like number three, look, oh, I've just upscaled it. If you get a variation of number three, it will create this one for you and change it. There's number two been made a little bit bigger and it will create some slightly different versions of things and be creative. I like to play around with these until I get different ones. Here's me trying to make Ida Johnson a soccer coach look, which didn't really work. It created this weird version of him, but I like to try and do things for thumbnails, which I think is quite fun. Here are the different versions of that one look being created. And you can end up with some great results. Some of these players in here, they look so... That's, that's a real player, Fabio Moretti. But some of them look... I, I feel like it adds character to them, doesn't it? Anyway, that is the process. Hopefully this is useful to you. A lot of you have been asking for this who have been watching the DOF Al Maria save. So I thought I'd make a little video um, just to explain things and um, enjoy from there. If you have enjoyed it and it has been useful, please do subscribe to the channel. And leave a like on the video too. Leave me those comments if you have questions as well. But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.